To illustrate the basic parameters of a delay plugin, we've programmed a single clavier note on the downbeat of the bar and looped it around. Um, insert a KR Delay CM plugin on this channel. Um, you can find this plugin in the CM Studio folder on the CM DVD. Initially, there's no audible difference, but as you turn up the delay time knob on the left channel, you'll start to hear a signal repeat in the left speaker. Turn it up so that the time reads around 60 milliseconds. This value represents the time interval between the dry signal and the delayed repeat. Increase the left delay time to around 250 milliseconds. The dry signal and the repeat are now two separate audible entities. If you set the delay time for the right channel to around 500 milliseconds, you'll hear the dry signal followed by two distinct repeats, the first in the left speaker and the second in the right. At the moment, each dry note is followed by a single repeat in each of the left and right channels. To increase the number of repeats per channel, you need to hit up the feedback section. Set the left feedback control to around 40% and the right to about 23% for a pleasing stereo effect. At the moment, the delay times are set freely, um, so repeats won't be in perfect time with the project. Sometimes it's useful uh, to make sure they are, so um, click the sync button and the delay time knobs will change to no value selectors. Set the left channel to eighth notes and the right to quarter notes to get a similar effect as before, but this time it will be in time with the, uh, with the door tempo. The pan control affects the stereo position of the repeats generated by each channel. On this particular plugin, the controls work like an offset from the starting position, so 0% is normal left right status, but setting both channels to 50 puts each channel in the center, effectively resulting in a mono output. Let's put them back where they were. The dry wet control sets the balance between the original dry signal and the wet repeats. A setting of 0% here results in a totally dry sound with no delay effect at all, while 100% removes the dry signal from the output altogether, leaving just the repeats. Activate the delay's ping pong mode. Ping pong is the term used to describe a stereo delay effect where the dry signal is fed into the left channel, the output of which is then fed into the right channel, which then feeds back into the input of the first A to create extra repeats that bounce back and forth between the speakers.